The gate is closed. As is Casador. Casador and his right of profane ascension. An imperious soiree, attended by devils and spawn alike. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampiric master. And elevate him to an unfathomable station. To place him in a position of such esteem. The world will yearn to kneel and offer their necks. We will kill him, but there's more to it. Think about it. It sounds like Casador, for all his evils, has gotten further than any of my kind ever have. He's on the verge of a miracle. If the time comes and I can stay one move ahead of him, I'll take his place before his blood can hit the floor. <laughs> What's a handful of the wretched servants? If they're anything like me when I was enslaved, they're all but begging for death anyway. After 200 years of shit, pure shit, I think I deserve something better. All I'm saying is, let's be clever about it. If an opportunity arises for me to become a more magnificent bastard than I already am, why turn it down? Let's find out more about the ritual before we waltz into Casador's front door. If we track down my old comrades, the other spawn, we may discover more and be finely positioned for yours truly to ascend. If we don't find my brethren, they'll find us. Likely with bared fangs. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Unless Casador has changed their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. So, we owe our lack of tentacles to one of the very creatures that kidnapped us. And now it's offering us power, if we're willing to... <sighs> Evolve. We both know what it is capable of, but I'm not touching it. Good. I wouldn't have anyway. I had nothing for so long. Nothing. Not even my own body. I will not give it up. Now it's mine again. Worms Crossing, the welcome mat of Boulder's Gate. This is it. I'm almost home. I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. It's something of a gamble, true, but if I can win, if I can beat him, it would be worth any risk. So yes. I do worry about facing him. But if we can get his attention, finding the ritual's location will be much easier, and that could give me the edge I need. She was, um, she was sick. She had spots on her face and hands. She went to go get some herbs, and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day, though. Wow. Thanks. My mum would like this. We need to march round the front 
and kill every last one of them. Let's see them eat our food with their guts on the floor. What do you say? Why does it matter? Innocence makes the blood run clearer. It's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer? I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced or because this group is full of weirdos. Rechtei Hathran Rust. My friend from the Hag Swamp. You join us as we honor our fallen dead. You're a bright light on a dark day. Even you, my erstwhile quarry. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> hello again. Frey, Valdisk Durovna. Frey, Valdisk Ablast. I feel we're intruding. We should leave quickly. Calm yourself. You will not be harmed. Our leader has called off the hunt. She wishes to speak to you. Im Orak Nete. Trasinetra. So, the impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When I was hunting you, I was to bring you back here, interrogate you, discover how to save our children, and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. It's a long story, honestly. We are not. But perhaps we can give you a chance to do deeds just as worthy of song. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Casador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children? But I promise you, they're already dead. I spent 200 years bringing him victims. Each and every one was whisked away to be fed on that night. But you never saw him feed yourself. He could keep prisoners for days before killing them. I know our plight is grim, but if there is even a chance to save them, we must take it. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. I suppose. Yes. Yes. Revenge I can do. Thank you. From me and all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You have lived a life of violence and sin. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Doing this will not right those wrongs. <laughs> If you're trying to encourage me, you're failing abysmally. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. When is he happiest? <laughs> Guilty as charged. Sometimes literally. 
Tell me, what does he desire more than anything? You're not wrong, but do we need to tell every stranger we meet our business? Astarian, what is his deepest fear? Really? I mean, I mean, yes, but, but really? You just tell whatever stranger just walks up and asked? That which needs to be said is often the most difficult. Take pride. You are one step closer to conquering your fear. Well, you were right every time. I almost wish you hadn't been, but, uh, you do know me. I press my finger to your bond and find a shield. Impenetrable. It is beautiful. Your love is one few have. Cherish it. Did you hear about the Scarecrow who lost a fight? Oh, hey! Looks like we've got a proper comedian in our midst. You, my special assistant. Come on up. You think I haven't mounted a stage before? Though be warned, clown. If you mean to throw knives, I will throw them back. We should go. I do not want to face the master if we're late for his black mass. Soon, sister. I only need one more mark. We have enough for the master. No more needed. It's not for the master, it's for me. I spent 100 years eating rats and dogs, but soon I'll be able to feast. I want someone there, ready for me. And once the Mass is done, and our Lord grants us freedom, I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Cazador promised you your freedom, and you believed him. Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. Astarian? It... It cannot be. Oh, that's no way to welcome back a brother, doll. <laughs> Didn't you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. Isn't it obvious, sister? He wants to ascend with the rest of us. He heard about the ritual and the power our master will grant us. So he came back with his tail between his legs, hoping all would be forgiven. <sighs> you always were an idiot, Petras. No! <sighs> Where is he hiding? Tell me! wretched life to my friend. Now tell me what I need to know. The Master is preparing the Black Mass. Beneath his palace, there's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time. Hidden from us all. Do you really think you can stop him? I'm the only one who can. The sun can't harm me. Cazador can't compel me. I don't need to fear him anymore. Now go, before I change my mind about roasting you, brother. This isn't over, Astarian. <laughs> Poor fools. They actually think Cazador will save them. Ah, 
You sound surprised. I am capable of doing the right thing from time to time. They're no threat to us. And they have no choice but to do Cazador's bidding. I pity them. Worst of all, they don't know their fate's already set. <laughs> They're doomed. The only question is whether their lives will be sacrificed to a monster like Cazador, or serve a greater purpose. Seven sigils on seven spawn. And Cazador has the other six. We have to face him. And take that power for ourselves. Trust me, I'd rather slaughter someone else's family, but if that's what it takes, and it's not like their sweet innocence, they brought Cazador just as many victims as I did. <laughs> You're not getting sentimental, are you? I thought you were with me on this. We'll figure it out. I need to know I can rely on you. All right, let's go. This place stinks of rat blood and despair. You notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. You notice the blood's source. A body hidden under the bed. She isn't my Trezim. She's my friend. And from the looks of things, it appears she's eating pigeons. Oh, right. Did you hear that, Tara? Um, stop it? Well, these must be important birds indeed, Mr. Decarios. Forgive me for feasting on their bodies and bones so very voraciously. So take the bomb. Just in case I'm right and you're wrong. As long as you see sense, I don't care when you see it. And is that your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Perhaps we could come to an agreement. <laughs> we want both of you, silly, at the same time. <clears throat> Sorry, Pat. I'm... I'm not quite comfortable with doing this again yet. Ugh. Ugh. Don't be so nice to me. It makes me want to be nice back. It's not my job to coddle work shy, disorganized minstrels. It's your job to turn up on time with everyone else. Sod off. Valeria? Well, I'm not messing about with a murder inquiry for damn sure. This equipment isn't for sale. It belongs to the Flaming Fist. I bloody wasn't. Too busy ordering more of those mechanical monstrosities to tell me. I can't thank you enough for getting me out of that damned prison and for giving me courage when I'd all but run out. I will travel to the upper city, find what allies I can. You won't fight the coming battle alone. As long as the city stands, I will stand with it. Gods, this is the first time in 200 years I've seen these streets in the sunlight. You can forget just how much color there is in the world. Hmm? 
Yes, of course. Obviously. Sorry, did you want something? While I'm there, the other potential victims will be at risk. Could you warn them? Not from round here, are you? We're in Boulder's Gate. This is just how things work. Thank you. That's all I can ask, and more than I hoped. to catch stupid dog I tried already but I've only got little legs ah a friendly face at last are you going to the party as well I know a bit strange isn't it but then you have to be open to trying new things. The venue's called The Palace. Not sure what it stands for, but it sounds very exclusive. My date's supposed to meet me here, but there's no sign of him. You haven't seen him, have you? Pale, skinny, extremely piercing eyes. Looks a bit like your friend here. Oh dear. I assure you, it's not. It's funny. He was ever so keen for me to come. He didn't seem the type to cancel. A vampire? No, he wasn't. Was he? But then, why am I still here? He could have had me by the neck any time he liked. Mother, may I? I'm positively starved. He did seem quite interested in my collarbones. I thought that was just his thing, if you catch my drift. Oh, I'd imagine so. There's no way he'd leave someone as appetizing as you alone. You know what? I might give this party a miss. Plenty more fish in the Chionthar, as they say. If you see him, don't tell him I was here. Just tell him I, um... I wasn't ready to be in a relationship. I'm sure he'll understand. We should tell Aelin that Lerurican is hunting her. She has a right to know. Also, she'll want to cave his skull in. And honestly, I would not mind seeing that. Forgive me for that impudence. Perhaps our friend can bridge the gap and do what I believe they came here to do? My steel-hearted friend speaks true. Give me one good reason, Magus, why I should not strike you down where you stand. I expected Nightsong to be overjoyed after killing her fair-haired fool. Instead, she just seemed... tired. No, no, I don't think that's it. She probably just needs some time for it to sink in. I'm sure she'll be elated soon. <clears throat> you sleep, but the wicked don't. Someone is here to disturb your rest. Get the hells away from me! Peace, brother. We're here to take you home. The Master needs all seven of us for the ceremony. Come with us and be reborn. We'll live again. Master Kazador has known where Astarian was this entire time. He knew he would return. The right. The Master needs him. He must attend. Oh, I'm well aware of what the Master needs. But don't we deserve better? Better? What do you mean, better? After all these centuries of torment, I know what you all want. 
More than power. More than to walk in the sun. You want to see him dead? The right of profane ascension will be mine. And he won't see a scrap of its glory. I am going to complete the ritual as the Ascendant, and then I am going to kill him! This is your chance. Stand with me. Name me your new master. We will get our revenge. And you will all live again. His liar's smile spells danger. He knows full well that his kin will die in the ritual, but if any of the bearers of the scar die before the ritual begins, he will lose his chance to perform the rite himself. He needs them to run willingly to their deaths, thinking they stand a chance against their master. Look at me like that. With the sweet little disappointed I'm not getting cuddly a starry and pout. I can't take it. I can't be what you want to see in me. Die in the ritual? Whatsoever are you speaking of? We are going to cheat on death. The Master doesn't need to lie to us. He controls us. Fully. Why go through the trouble of giving us hope? Because it's more cruel. Shit, we're doomed. All right. What do you need from us? We'll help you. The bonds hold. He owns us. We have no choice. We must obey. Get out of here, Astorian. Before. <sighs> what a mess. Well, at least you've met my family now. What does it matter? There's only six of them, and they are vampire spawn. No one ever looked out for me. No one ever said a kind thing to me. You're the only one. Other people don't have a heart like you. You're... you. No one is like that. Don't sell yourself so short. I'm doing this for you too, you know. To make sure we're both safe. Forever. For good. Cass, you're beautiful. Yes. No. I'm not sure. It is full of terrible secrets, including Cazador's bloody right to profane ascension. But it told me nothing new. <laughs> then again, it was filled with otherworldly power, which I am more than happy to wield to my advantage. You have the delicious honor of being my crowning achievement. Your body is my ultimate gift to my lord, Bar. Together, we shall transcend. A challenger, my lord tests me. Can I interest you in, um, uh, a copy of the Boulder's Mouth Gazette? Please buy one. I knew, that's all. I just need to practice. It's a really good paper, though. 
No spelling mistakes in it or anything. Thank you. My first sale. Fire in the... Oh, my silk. What are the chances? It's you. Ah, and the heart-stopping bloodsucker. I hope you've changed your mind. My neck is yours, any time. And I will keep refusing until the end of time. I'm done bowing to the whims of others. Never say never. Forgive the mess. Your blood is far more volatile than I'd anticipated. I'll be all right. Let's just get this over with. Nervous to see me again, is he? How sweet. But we have quite a bit to discuss. What a wonder you came to my door just when you did. You see, it's your blood that caused the conflagration you just witnessed. Imagine, it's a breakthrough in the sanguine arts, the likes of which the world has never seen. The Grand Matriarch will have no choice but to restore House Ablodra after I present her with my research. But listen to me, rabbiting on about myself when I have you, the prize bleeder, on my very doorstep. If you'd come inside, we could discuss something far more exciting than drow politics. How I made him feel? What I propose goes well beyond such frivolities. We are talking about alchemical breakthroughs based on the blood that runs through your veins, my friend. I appreciate the thought, truly. But if this is something you want to look into, well, hearing her out won't kill us. Just a look. And if we don't like what we see, we can always kill her later. Now, now, I do think that's enough. When you see what I've been working on, bygones will all be bygones. I assure you. Ah, a cozy little spot, isn't it? These four walls have witnessed greater alchemical triumphs than the keep of Erngath Durand. And now that you're here, the crown jewel of my research is soon to be faceted. All you have to do is drink Formula Gruner. If that's her formula I can smell, it's even fouler than her blood. Oof, God's below. Well, yes, Formulae Arku through Fruag were spectacular failures. But Gruner, Gruner is different. Believe me. When you first entered this home, you saw the incredible latent power within your blood exposed in all its nuances. Formula Gruner will unleash that power within you. Risky, but, um, safe. Say no. The only thing she's offering is pain. And I, I, I don't want to see you hurt. Not even for the betterment of the alchemical arts the realm over. Not even for that. Oh, marvelous. I've never been so excited for anything in all my days. Just stand over there, far over there, and drink up. What are you doing? That had better go down the drain and not down your gullet. Oh my, my heavens, you lived. This is incredible. I'm seeing stars. My friend, I had no such intention. You don't know what this means to me, to my research. You are the world's first detonative exsanguinator. To put it simply, 
From this day on, your blood goes boom. Big boom. <laughs> it's incredible. All it needs is a spark. What an odd question. Now, let me offer you a little treat. In exchange for the teensiest vial of your marvelous blood, I'll give you something that'll really throw your enemies for a loop. I'll only ask a nominal fee in exchange. Now, now, darling. Let's not be rude. She said no. You should learn the meaning of the word. Ah, oh, I so hoped it wouldn't come to this. But I can't let my prize experiment walk out that door. I'd hope to take a sample with your permission. But I can do without it. You must be awfully familiar with our esteemed Archduke to know about a thing like that. My, what a juicy morsel. I didn't think he liked your type. Anyway, you seek answers. Lord Mammon seeks coin. I will happily mediate. Make me an offer. Mammon, I knew it. I did. The first hit's free, eh? Oh, fine. I'll humor you, mortal. Just this once. The answers to that can probably be found within his house. Then perhaps we should drop by and surprise Raphael. It'd make a nice change. What a fascinating proposition. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. Such a task will be tantamount to suicide. And for what? The devil has nothing that you need. You put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Why don't we play a game? You win, I give you everything you desire. <laughs> but you'll enjoy yourself more if you lose. It's a surprise. Off with your clothes. Tart, tart. You will make a pretty feast. So this is it. I'm home. There's the same fading carpet. The same tasteless art. Nothing's changed. But gods, everything feels different. It does feel strange. Breaking into your own home, especially if murder's on your mind. Then again, this is hardly the strangest thing we've done together. Although it could be the most satisfying. The second most satisfying. Ah. 
Oh, no. It's much worse than that. They're fanatics. Here of their own free will and utterly devoted to Cazador. Each one came to our door and begged to be given his eternal gift. They're sure he'll turn them if they serve him well enough. It almost feels sorry for the poor deluded souls. But they're idiots who brought this upon themselves, so don't. If my dear siblings were right, Cazador's hiding somewhere below the palace. After so many years, I would have spotted any secret tunnels out here. The only place that was off limits to us was his study. If the entrance is anywhere, it'll be there, through the ballroom. Oh, I've never been less sure of anything. But if I don't face him now, I never will. I'll spend the rest of my life running, watching the shadows, never feeling safe. No. This has to happen. Here and now. Also, there's a small matter of all that power I can steal from the bastard. So that'll be nice. The door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small round hollow engraved with a family crest. seems to be the right size and shape to fit a signet ring bearing the family crest. The writing means nothing to you. You can't even recognize the script. There's writing like this all over the palace. Some old, probably dead language of Cazador's. We were strictly forbidden from learning it. Another guest for the Master's celebration. I'm afraid you're too late. You'll have to... Master Astarian? What are you doing here? Why aren't you downstairs? Well, obviously I'm on my way down now. So if you could just point us in the right direction. But you're too late. The, the, the doors have been sealed. The ritual is about to begin. It's too late. Godi has sealed the doors and will not open them until the ritual is complete. Casador gave the key to Godi. And where is this sadistic old sack of bones? It does not matter. You're too late. The master will be so angry that you missed the ritual. He will do such terrible, terrible things to you. I do not have any more time to waste. There is too much to do, too much to prepare. Two sentries walking these halls, and I've never once seen the ballroom door locked. Cazador doesn't want anything going wrong tonight. He's Cazador's skeletal right hand. He kept us in line when Master didn't feel like torturing us himself. If Cazador's going to trust anyone to lock the doors behind him, it'd be that rattling old carcass. Godi kept us in kennels downstairs. The master ruled everywhere else, but they were his domain. I know you're there, Golly. Stop skulking and show yourself. You always were sharp, little one. Sharp enough to cut yourself. It's taking everything I have not to grind your rotten carcass to dust. Don't be mad at Cody, child. I only did my job. Only kept you in line. You tortured us. For days at a time. Oh, yes. And you sang so sweetly for me. 
None of the others screamed like you did. But you're home now, and you brought me a treat, eh? <laughs> a new friend for Godi. Not very nice. Not very friendly. Why are you here then, little one, if not to see Godi? We're here to see the Master. But the ballroom door's locked. Uh, give us the key. <laughs> no, no, it is too late. The doors are sealed on Master's orders. Godi will not open them for anyone, much less for you. the key. Goldie can give it to you. Here. Here it is. Take it and trouble Goldie no more. Let the master know I found Astarian. You can't be here. No one in, no one out. You're new. Cazador never kept guard dogs before. <sighs> the runaway spawn. <sighs> you reek of the master's scent. Come with us. Come to master. Uh, excuse me. I will not be ordered around my own house by some blowing mutt. <sighs> we bring you to him. We get his favor! Cazador skulking somewhere beneath us. In this defiled chapel the others mentioned. We just have to find the entrance. Then he'll be mine. You stand on a clean metal platform. A beautiful but antiquated elevator. There are some scuffs to show its age. Signs of things dragged onto it over the years. It seems to be in good working order. What in the hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Cazador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. Lurking under the floor. I don't know. It feels older than that. Who knows how old? The Cazador will want a grand space for his ascension. A venue like this feels perfect. Now we just need to see what lies at the heart of this place. On the pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. This skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift, and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. Mm. 
Valiath's first lesson is always to dominate. Allow none to be your equal. Valioth recalls when Cazador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Valioth drained his friend dry. were distracted by an errant thought and lose the thread of Velioth's lesson. Velioth recalls when Cazador rebelled against him. Cazador suffered eleven years of impalement because he failed. Valioth's third lesson is to act not in haste. A near immortal has time to plan, time to act only when others will pay the price of action. Valioth recalls Cazador, his lessons learned, killing him in the right of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Valioth recalls Cazador boiling the flesh from his skull and then to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Cazador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. Approaching the cells, you're met with hollow-eyed faces. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. Ugh, they're disgusting. Cazador never fed on wretches like this. How did they get here? What is Cazador doing with them? I should have guessed there was more to it than Raphael would ever have told. You. I know you. You're the one from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. <laughs> You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. It's not just him. I know so many of these faces. They're my... conquests. I pursued them. Seduced them. And brought them to Cazador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? How long have I been down here? 170 years. You were one of my first. My family. My friends. They're gone. You took them from me. You took everything from me.
never be free while that monster lives. That's why we're here. To destroy Kazador. <laughs> you can't. It's not possible. And then... What happens to us? I... I don't know. Trust me when I say I know the feeling. But you can resist the urge. Whatever you do, just do it quickly. I can't go and wait. We'll be back. You have my word. God's above. He kept Sebastian. I should have known what Cazador was capable of. Ah, he's played us for such fools. And not just seven spawn to placate the devil. Seven spawn and seven thousand souls bound to them in blood. Everyone who ever trusted me enough to let down their guard, innocents, idiots, <laughs> and the unlucky. It doesn't matter. I will need to sacrifice them all if I want to perform the ritual. <laughs> What's the point? They're as good as dead. I thought they were dead. If they are unleashed, they will cause incredible carnage. They will be ravenous. They must die. Better they serve a purpose. Gods, I can't say you're wrong. I can only say I'm so glad we didn't meet then. I don't even want to think what would have happened to you. I would have killed you. Hey! Hey, you! Come closer. Oh, God! It can't be! It is you. I knew it. I'll kill you. Once I get out of here, I'll kill you! Camp! Monster hunters! Uh, the girl camp! Oh, God! My parents' camp! Uh, Chessa, focus! Resist the beast in inside you! Uh, you promised! Uh, it's your fault! You did this to us! Didn't he tell you? He's the one that kidnapped us! He's the reason we're spawns! Uh, I'll kill you! Uh, <laughs> yes, now that you um, <laughs> mention it, uh, I may have done that. Oh, don't look at me like that. Casador's orders. <laughs> Quite the deviation from my usual routine, of course. Uh, capture, not lure. Uh, I didn't bring them in with sweet rolls or anything. I really forgot about them. Felt nothing the moment I handed them over to him. Oh. I suppose there's a good chance they will. What use is it, though? They're lost. Ravenous. Feral. They'd attack any mortal on sight. All these people were... ruined because of me. Parents? You've seen my parents? I miss them. I, I think. Or perhaps it's the hunger. Oh, I don't know. It's so hard to tell. You should go. Leave us here. We shouldn't be out there. We'd hurt our families. Behind the exhaustion, starvation, and fear, recognition stirs in her eyes. And with it, hope. You... You really mean it? Casador's uh, uh, got this stuff. It controls the doors. 
If you get it, you can set everyone free. If you get it, somehow. Please. Whatever you can do. What are you doing? They're going to tear me to shreds. They'd never forgive me for what I've done. Maybe I am. Maybe that's what I have to do. I just... I never want to see these little scraps of misery again. The world doesn't need to know my shame. Well, you clearly want to say something. I'm not sure. I've been weighing my options. On the one hand, they're the key to my unlocking eternal power and freedom. On the other, well, it's my fault they're here. Yes, it was Cazador's command. I had no choice, but it seems now I do. I'm sure I will. <laughs> Whatever the hells that might be. Who stands before us? Is this truly our prodigal son? Hm? Do not slouch before me, boy. Have you no respect for yourself? Look at you. Crawling back after abandoning your family. You should be begging our forgiveness. Forgiveness? You've never forgiven anything. Every mistake, every slip was punished. I strove for perfection in all things, even those as imperfect as you. A pity you amounted to so little, despite my efforts. No! No. Fuck you. And fuck everything you've ever done to me! I will not speak to cattle. This is between me and the boy. You son of a bitch. You truly forgot my power. You truly thought our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you from killing me? Hmm? Oh, you are weak, my child. You are a small, pathetic little boy who never amounted to anything. But today, you will finally do something worthwhile. You will burn, and I will ascend. you again. But if I finish the ritual you started, I'll never have to fear anyone. Ever. You think me a fool? That I would allow anyone to usurp me, speak the words, and ascend in my place? Hmm? 
The runes I carved into your flesh bind you and all 7,000 souls to the ritual. Complete it, and those bearing the scars will be sacrificed, you included. You are simply a means to an end. I made you to be consumed. I am so much more than what you made me. I can do this, but I need your help. These people died years ago. Trust me on that. All that's left are feral spawn, desperate for blood. If we release them, how many people will they kill? Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. But if they die and I ascend, I won't have to rely on the parasite to walk in the sun. I'll be free. Truly. Completely. Free. Isn't that what you want? see the fear in his eyes, but also the hunger. The thick smell of blood in the air and the promise of power being so close is intoxicating to him. All he can see is the power of the ritual and the freedom that power brings. The freedom to do anything, to be anything. Is it over? Is he... <sighs> yes. He's gone. What does that mean for us? It means you have a choice. You can hide here, living in the shadows like parasites. Or you could be more than what he made us to be. You can choose differently, of course. But the consequences are on your head. And what does it mean for them? Now, that's a better question. 7,000 spawn from ancient conquests to stolen children. Casador's staff controlled everything during the ritual. If it controls the cells too, you could decide their fate. Some sacrifices just aren't worth it. The poor wretches in the cells are innocent. They shouldn't have to suffer just because I... lured them here. They'll need 
need someone to lead them. Take the tunnels into the Underdark. Find somewhere, well, not safe, but less perilous. What? No, we can't. Just try to keep them out of trouble. I think we're done here. Let's go. That's it. He's gone. After all these years, these centuries, it's really over. I'm not sure. I feel a little uh, numb. What I've lost. <laughs> what I've gained. It's all so much. And God, all those spawn. Free in the Underdark. I need some time, I think. I... Just to let it all sink in. <laughs> Let's just go. This place reeks of death and I want to feel alive again. You killed one vampire, but released 7,000 of his spawn. Have you lost all sense? They were innocents. To kill them would have been an even greater crime. Uh, but if you do decide to go hunting them, know they include your children. They... Oh, they survived? Well, that depends on how you define survived, really. But they are free. They're making their way into the Underdark as we speak. This is... difficult news. We will need to decide what it means. Thank you for what you have done. Slaying Cazador was a great justice. As for the rest, well, time will tell. The elevator lies ready to carry you back up to the palace. Let's get out of here. I've had more than my fill of this place. I should probably start getting used to the shadows again. Who knows how long I have left in the sun. I know. Doesn't mean it stings any less. Maybe never seeing the sun again is just the price of freedom. I think I do. Assuming we survive, of course, because a horrible death is always just around the corner with you. There's something I'd like to show you, if that's all right. Something out in the city. This way. It's not far. The graveyard is appropriately silent. There isn't a proverbial soul around. Two hundred years, and I never came back. Not since the night I woke up down there. I had to punch a hole in the coffin and claw my way through six feet of dirt. Then when I finally broke the surface, retching up dirt and congealed blood, Cazador was waiting. From that day on, I was his. Until today. <laughs> Exhilarating. Terrifying. Exhausting. For nearly two centuries, I stalked the streets like a ghost. 
Well, the person I was lay here. Dead and buried. Now I need to figure out who I am. What I want. You. I want. You. You were by my side through all of this. Through bloodlust and pain and misery. You were patient. You cared. You trusted me when that was an objectively stupid thing to do. I feel safe with you. Seen. And whatever the future holds for me, I don't want to lose that. Thank you. Well, I should probably fix this. I've been dead in the ground for long enough. It's time to try living again. With everything that life has to offer. If a night of passion is an offer, I could be persuaded. You know, I didn't care for you when we first met, but I do now. Being with you is about more than lust or manipulating you into a tactical alliance. I love you. I love this. And I want it all. feels ridiculous to still be thinking about Cazador. He's gone. I'm here. I won. But I still keep reliving everything that happened. Playing it over and over in my mind. <sighs> You're not wrong. Cazador left his mark on me in more ways than one. For a moment, I wanted to be just like him. I came so close to losing everything back there. To losing myself. Back at the ritual, all I could see was the power on offer and the safety it promised. I was so blinded by it. <laughs> Just as Cazador was. But you saw something in me. Someone else I could be. Someone who could break the cycle of power and terror that started <laughs> centuries ago. You saved me back there. I may not have appreciated it at the time, but... I do now. Thank you. <laughs> you did more than that. You... believed 
in me. Believed I was enough. Just the way I am. <laughs> when I look at my future, anything and everything feels possible now. And I get to share it with you as a partner. And equal. You saved me from myself and let me walk a new path where I can be free. Truly, honestly, free. This is a gift, you know. Thank you. I won't forget it. <laughs> you're so adorable when you're thinking what to say. Well, now's as good a time as any. <sighs> Nothing special, of course. You're only the first person who I truly care for. <clears throat> Can't get enough. I'm not surprised. Mm. <laughs> I do rather like that, you know. <laughs> 